Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you my next Let's Play. Produced by Nintendo. Yeah, my next one. <sighs> Presented by Shigazatui Toy. I think that's how you say his name. And he brings us... Earthbound Zero. Otherwise known as Mother 3. It was cancelled to come here because it was no market in it. Because the Super NES came out. So, we only can play it on illegally on emulators. Ah, so sad. I kind of like this game. It's so beautiful. Oh, well. So, let's get it started. I'm going to name the official uh, Nintendo names before they were going to bring it over. And they were going to name him Ninten. Which kind of falls in the next game where... Uh, um, NES is named after the SNES, and this is named after the Nintendo. Anna is the girl's name, and, well, we're going to name her Anna because it goes with Pollyanna because Paula has Paula in her name. And this guy has a weird name, but this is how Nintendo spelled his name. He's the Jeff of the game, and his name is spelled Leloid. And he's good at gadgets. And here's Teddy, and he's the poo of the game, and really he has no relevance to the game. I don't even think you need to beat this game with him. But anyway, his name is Teddy, which I think is a really lame name. I would give him a cooler name, but you know, ooh, what's my favorite food? I don't know. If you guys know me, like about four of my fans who subscribe to me know me, uh, they will know what I'm finna put in. And it doesn't start with an O. What am I doing? It starts with an S. A. I always get it when I go to Coney Island sometimes when I just got some spare money. Saga. Yeah, I think it's Saga. Saga. N. Naki? I don't remember exactly how to spell it. Man, this is taking up too much time. I'm supposed to be talking about the game. Yeah, it was supposed to be brought over here. Um, but... Uh, the NES came out, and we just said, you know what, screw it. To this day, we st still try to get, uh, the game over here. So there's my characters, and the Saganaki. In the early 90s, a dark shadow covered a small country town in rural America. At that time, a young married couple vanished. Mysteriously. Woo! Like a ghost. The man's name was George, the woman's name was Maria. Two years later, as suddenly as he left, George returned. He never told anyone where he had been or what he had done. But he began an odd study all by himself. As for Maria, she never returned. <laughs> Eighty years later. Ah, and they since has passed. And... We are just a little boy in our room. Cool. We were just relaxing in our recliner chair, and this is Earthbound Zero. And there's our command menu, kind of like an Earthbound. Uh, what most less players don't do in this game, they don't um, put up their fight message. I'm going to put mine up to five because I want to be up to speed. So, yeah. Well, let's check out our lamp. Eh, there's no problem with it, so let's just leave. Oh, crap! It's moving! What the heck? Lamp draws near. Our lamp can move? What the heck? Well, let's check the lamp and make sure... Oh, crap. Try to hit us, but we moved. It hovers in the air. No, no stuff. Kind of got teeth, too. Crap, it's hitting us. Let's hit it back. Jerk off lamp. And it's attacking us. I don't know how. Is it just, like, running into us? Shouldn't it shatter? Matter of fact, we just shattered it, and we just won. Well... What else is happening? Holy crap, why is our sh house shaking? What's happening? Is our, is our sister okay? Eh, who cares? What about our other sister? <laughs> That's probably what I was saying in real life. Like, I don't care about you. Ah, uh, come over here. Let me talk to you. Brother, I'm so scared. The lamp seems to be alive. No stuff. Let's go kill it. Like we did with our lamp. Sorry, I wanted to have time as constraints. Oh my brother, something scary's happening to the house. I'm sorry if I'm reading a little bit late, but 
I'm not the greatest at doing Let's Plays for RPGs. Help me! In her Dolls movie, which I think is kind of scarier than Lamps. Ever seen Chucky? Anyway, let's kill this doll. The doll draws near. Let's check it out. I'm gonna keep checking every single enemy. And we dodged, and we checked, and it stares back at us. That is kind of creepy. Now, if you put it on auto, you could just sit here and just watch him attack. Only do this when you're, like, fighting an enemy that you know you can beat. And these are just warm-up bosses, so that's why I'm just gonna put it on auto for right now. Very simple. Just sit here until he dies, even though we got a smash attack at the beginning. That's the critical hit in this game, kind of like in Pokemon. And now the doll stopped moving. And we grew a level! Awesome! In this game, you can use save states um, to keep going back and get random stats, which can really pump up um, your stats in this game. But you know, I'm not going to do that. The phenomenon has stopped for the moment. Let's talk to our sister now. I was scared to death! Oh wow, check out what's in our, my doll. <laughs> Why would I want to check it out? Inside the doll, I spotted a music box. I wound it up. And some creepy music played. And I remembered the tune because it was that creepy. <laughs> what am I remembering a tune I was in a doll for? I don't want to make a dirty joke, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Hold on. Alright, anyway. Let's talk to our little sister right here. I think she's supposed to be able to give us some juice. Brother, here's some juice. Hope you're thirsty. Blah, blah, blah. You can keep doing this as many times as you want to get as much juice as you want. But I don't know how much it recovers, so I'm only just going to grab two for right now. Anyway, let's go downstairs and talk to our mommy. Hey, Mama Lama. Ninton, are you alright? Egad, what is happening to our house? I wish your dad was here now, maybe. Telephone! Ninton, get the telephone. You know, at two rings at my house, it would stop ringing. Oh well, I don't answer the phone in my house. Ninsen, grab the phone. This is your dad. Well, it seems like a poltergeist. I'm not exactly sure how to, but your grand great grandfather studied PSI. You might something, I mean, find something that, in the basement that can help. But I left the basement key someplace. Can't remember exactly where. Anyway, I mean, anyhow, son, it's time for you to go on an adventure and explore. The potential of your powers. What powers? Powers not taken lightly. Ninton, just go for it! And come back and check on your family. And phone me whenever you want to save. Call me whenever you want. Slam. Jerk. <sighs> what a deadbeat. Blah, blah, blah. My mom's still talking about crap. Our father just told us to go on an adventure. I don't really get the premise, but anyway. Now we're outside. Ah, I love this theme. Wait. What does the sign say? Nintendo's house. Anyway, let's check out our dog. You can converse with animals. Tell you a secret. Why don't you check me out? That is weird. That was a basement collar. <laughs> yeah, we found the key on the dog's collar. I think it was kind of freaky how he said, Check me out. Hope that dog was a good... God, never mind. That's bestiality. Anyway, let's use this basement key that we found on our dog mysteriously to open the door and find some presents in the basement. You can find rats down here too. And we found our granddad's diary, a plastic bat. I should equip that now just in case I run into some rats. Anyway. And our last present gives us some bread. Some moldy old bread that's been sitting in the basement. Or it could be in the freezer. Anyway, let's get out of here. I don't know, what do I keep clicking start for? Anyway, the only thing that seems useful right now is our grandfather's diary. Because our dad was saying he was studying PSI. It is old, ragged, and filled with entries. <laughs> so why do we want to read it? Well, let's see what it says. I think we're supposed to use it. The diary was hard to read, but the password was the one who lost his tail. The forgotten one, the one who sails the ship. Dang. Anyway. Son of mine, you're braver than I thought. I can't let you go on this journey alone. Why is everybody telling me to leave? It kind of feels like I'm, like, about to graduate. 
<sighs> and we just had a Saganaki. Just in case you guys don't know, it's just like cheese on a hot platter. And what do you got to say? I am Minnie. No stuff. We like lived with you for like three years. But she'll just, she's like our item holder in this game. So I'll just have her carry, I mean, hold this orange juice. <sighs> uh, eh, I was about to take it back from her, but let's call our dad. This is your dad. I've transferred $50 to your account. After the amount you've spent, the balance is $50. Spend your money wisely, and well, the next level requires 18 for Ninten. By the way, would you like to save? Yes. And with that, now that I saved this game, I like to say this is my new Let's Play Mother slash Earthbound Zero. So subscribe to me, write to me, and join me on my next adventures. Thank you and good night.